really comes down to it, Minecraft on consoles is pretty good, but still not as good as the PC version. One thing that's nice about the console version though is that you can do split screen, which was originally not thought possible on the PC version until this process had been found. So I'm going to show you how to do it right now. Okay, so you're going to need three files before you do anything. You're going to need Border Stripper, Joypad Mod, for whatever version of Minecraft you plan on playing, and Sizer. Uh, so Joypad Mod just makes it easier to set up Minecraft with controllers. So just copy that into your mi .minecraft's mods folder. Uh, I would suggest using Forge for this. Sizer makes it so that you can have Minecraft positioned correctly, and Border Stripper makes it so it gets rid of the border around Windows. Windows, Windows, uh, whatever. I don't know how to explain that. You're gonna need to open up two Minecraft games uh, with two different user accounts, uh, so you can't use the same uh, login. You're gonna have to have two. So the, the thing that I would recommend is using a LAN server. Uh, it just works really well for uh, connecting and lag, and it runs really well, uh, especially once you're on, especially if you're on the same computer. So uh, from this point, once you have both games open, you're going to want to make a sizer uh, configuration for both the top and bottom screen. You're going to need to know your monitor resolution for this part. I have a 1920x1080 monitor, so you're, I'm going to set mine to 1920x550 for both the top and bottom screen. Uh, you're also going to have to have sizer set to move the window to the top screen for player 1 and the bottom screen for player 2 or, you know, correspondingly for however many players you have, you also just do the math for your screen to figure out, you know, what resolution for how many players and blah blah blah. So from here you're going to want to uh, remove the borders for both of the Minecraft games, which is very simple, you just, yeah, that's it. Um, so at this point you're going to want to uh, alt-tab to each of the Minecraft games and figure out, oh, is this player one or player two? And then you set it up correctly. And one thing that I forgot to do here, well, oh, and then you right click on Sizer and click on the one that you want it to go to. One thing that I forgot here is to set my taskbar to auto hide. Uh, you gotta do that for, um, or else player two won't set up correctly and the screens will be overlapping a little bit. So then I had to redo uh, Sizer real quick. And then there you go. Uh, one quick note is that it's kind of difficult to set up the controllers to work. Uh, it took me a little bit. Um, you can also use uh, w you can have one player actually using a mouse and keyboard, and then everybody else can just use a controller. Um, for me, at least, it was difficult to set up the controllers, but I was also using a DS3 tool and DS4 uh, tool things. So I could use a PS3 and PS4 controller. You just use standard gamepad controllers. Uh, everything should work fine for you.